year old from West Java. And of course, these two Indonesian players, very well known on the circuit with former partners. Of course, Pratama used to play with Saputro and Suwadi with Angoreyawan. First job of our Ampa, it's a toss of the coin. And I really can't understand, Ian, why players don't always choose ends. Every arena will have a slightly fast end and a slower end, and uh, rather than choose serve, because nowadays, of course, you can score a point whether you're serving or not. Yeah, I think in the men's doubles in particular, probably the advantage is with uh, the receiver. So I, I would possibly be choosing to receive, I think. Put the pressure on the server on the first point and then put the best server from my side on the left court to come in at 1-0. Yeah. Well, there is Anga Pratama, the 23-year-old born in Jakarta. And their world ranking this week down one place, but they only have six tournaments towards that world ranking so not a realistic reflection of their capabilities four tournaments this year they reached the final of the thailand international challenge semi-final of the malaysian grand prix gold and in the first rounds here they beat the chinese pair of one Yulu and Zhang wen in two straight games so ricky suadi also 23 years of age, as I was saying, from Sirabon in West Java. And he, with his former partner, Angria One, got up to number 20 in the world ranking. It's the first time that these two players have contested the Malaysian Open as a pair because they only formed their partnership at the 2014 Hong Kong Super Series, the last of the Super Series events last year. So to the Korean pair, the number eight seeds. They're up one place in the world ranking at the moment. There is Kim Ji Jung. He's 24 years of age. His partner is a year older, uh, 25 from Incheon. So their world ranking a little better than last week, but they, like their opponents, have not played the optimum number of tournaments. Uh, they, though, have played eight. Have been as high as four in the world ranking, that going back to January of 2013. One week they spent as world number fours. This only their third tournament of the year. They reached the quarterfinal of the German Grand Prix gold and lost in the second round of the All England Championships when the number six seeds. So there are court officials from Malaysia and Sri Lanka. Now, this will be the first meeting between these two pairs. Not surprising, really, given how recent the two Indonesians formed their partnership. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Anga Pratama and Ricky Karanda Suradi, Indonesia. And on my left, Kim Ji Jung and Kim Sara, Korea. Anga Pratama to serve to Kim Sara. Lobo. So the unseeded Indonesians, Pratama and Suwadi, far side of the court as we look down. Oh, that's a nice start. That's landed in. One last. Oh. 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 
service over, one, oh. Now, Ian, when I saw two, Kim Gijung and Kim Sarang earlier this year, first of all at the German Grand Prix Gold and then at the All England, I was feeling that they weren't looking in the best of shape. I thought perhaps they weren't as lean as I usually see them when they're competing, but they look already to me look in better shape. Well, a little bit similar to the ladies' singles match in some ways in that uh, they've had their injury problems the last six months and they've not really had a consistent run of tournaments since the middle of last year. So again, a slow start to this year, missing a little bit of confidence, that's clear. So it'll be interesting to see. I, I would agree with you, I think they look in better physical shape, but let's see what the game's like. Service over, 3-0. Oh. Yeah, that's a classic Kim Sarung shot, and he's missed it. Oh. Just maybe signs and return of serve is a great return, and normally a couple of easy errors, maybe a sign of that sort of lack of match play and lack of confidence. change of pace from Kim Sarang. Of course, the Koreans twice world championship bronze medalists. Five, last two four. years. And Bong Zhou, they were the number five seeds, lost out to Boa Morganson in the semi-final. And last year in Copenhagen, they were the number five seeds again. And lost out to their teammates who went on to take the gold medal. Cool and Shin. What a good world championship he was in the men's doubles for Korea. Yeah, I mean, they, they had a really good first half of the year and topped off with three pairs in the semi-final at the World Champs. And since then, all three pairs have actually had their injury problems and had yeah. issues. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what form they're in here. Yeah, nice pressure there from Suwadi. Over. Five, six. Oh, a little lucky on the return of serve, for which he apologises. Yeah, you can call it luck, but that's what they practice for on return of serve. That oh. neck cord return, that push onto the tape. Service over. Six. Yeah, we do often see these very short rallies, don't we, in men's doubles? Yeah, an awful lot of emphasis on the men's doubles on the service and return situation. You know, there's a lot of statistics flying around that the pair that does win the attack from that serve and return situation win them big, big percentage of the rallies. So having the ability to serve well and return well is really critical to, to this event. Nine, six. Oh. Yeah, nice use of the mid-court area there. Yeah, and a typical men's doubles rally at the moment. Neither pair lifting. Both pairs looking to push the mid-court, find the space in the forecourt, not give the attack away. Here we go again, another flat rally. But as soon as the lift does go up, it's the, it's the team that win the attack that win the point. 
service over. Ten, ten. You'll see it once it goes up. No way back. Good run. Oh, yeah, aim towards the right hip. And that was perfect placement. Nine, ten. Oh, oh that's a pity. I was about to say that's wonderful commitment at the front of the court from Pratama. And he hit it just long. So it's the Korean pair who have the advantage at the mid game interval. Got one, twenty seconds. Eleven, nine. Oh, play. Oh, yes. Good aggression Service there over. from Fratama. Ten, Ian, what's your view on this uh, change of partnership, swapping the partners round with these Indonesian players and uh, Paratama no longer playing with Saputro. I mean, they did uh, get very high in the world ranking up to number seven. They were semi finalists here in Malaysia last year, actually, weren't they? And of course, Suwadi used to play with uh, Andrea. A good move, do you think, to sw swap them around? Well, I think they've done it with some security. They've got a very well established top pair, you know, who've won the world championships. Um, and I think that gives them the possibility to maybe try out some Dirty. things just yeah. below that, the second and third pairs. They weren't getting consistent results. They had the odd good result here and there. And I think before they go into the Olympic qualifying period, they just wanted to switch it round, see if they could find a more consistent second pair. Hey. Yes, of course, the world champions, oh. former world champions to which you were Sorry, referring. Sorry. Son and Sathya one. And of course, one Miss Malaysian Open back in 2013. Certainly, we've seen a lot of Pratamo. He's a very, very good reader of the game on the on the front court. Probably looking to put in with someone who's got some some firepower from the rear court and some speed around the mid court and rear court to create pressure to create good situations for him in that front court. And I think this pair's got a real chance, maybe. It's, it looks a good combination. They move quite well together already. Um, but it's a question of whether they can get any consistency in their play, which I think both of them missed in their previous partnerships. over. 12, 15. Oh, that's gone wide. Service over. 16, 12. He'll be disappointed here. This is his favourite. Stepping up onto the midcourt, looking to move forward. 
That's very wild, I have to say, from the midcourt. I think with this young Indonesian pair, they're similar in a way to uh, Asan and Sethia One in that there's one of the players, and it's Pratama, the man we saw serving there, who prefers to go forward to the net while leaving his partner at the back to do most of the hard smashing and, and work within the rally. Is that a fair comment? It is, and I think it's a little bit of an Indian, Indonesian tradition as well. When you look at their great men's doubles pairs over the years, you can name the net player, you can name the rear court guy with the firepower and the and the penetration from the rear court. It's, you know, it's that sort of traditional Indonesian style to have put those types of pairs together. Nineteen thirteen. Oh, it's good work at the front of the court from Kim Sarang. 20 game point. Game point opportunities. Oof, that's a powerful smash. Good placement too. 14, 20. Yeah. Saw him setting up to cover the middle of the court, went across the body. Good finish. Oh, ooh, there might well be a challenge here. Oh, no, they're not going to challenge. Well, it was called in. I'm not convinced by that at all. A bit of an inexperience from the Indonesians there. I think they're forgetting that they're on the TV court. That was definitely worth a challenge, particularly on game point. Yeah. Well, no challenge means that it's the opening game. 21-14 in favour of the number eight seeds. Just 12 minutes for game number one. We had, they were quick rallies in many stubbles, didn't we? Well, that was particularly quick, I have to say. Quite a few errors still from both sides and tentative start, I would say, from both teams. Neither side wanting to give the attack away. Lots of errors from the midcourt. Uh, probably the difference there was Kim Sarang was able to serve and return to probably a higher level than the other players on court and just pick up enough easy points. Bit of work to do here for the Indonesian coach, I have to say. just heard from Hawkeye that that last shot that we both thought was perhaps worth a challenge. Well, it wasn't worth wasting a challenge because they told us it was in. Yeah, well, what do we know? <laughs> <laughs> We'd have, we've got to stop really trying to compete with Hawkeye, haven't we? There's too, too much technology these days. Yeah, it's wonderful for the sport, though, isn't it, to have the instant review system? Yeah. A nice interception now, Ian, with your coaching hat on. You said the, the Indonesian coach had some hard work to do with his men. Now, what would you have been advising the Indonesian pair? How to change up the game and change this around? Well, they're actually getting positions where Pratama's able to get into the front court, but there's actually too much space between him and his partner. So I'd like to see Sawadi pushing forward, committing a little bit more to an advanced position, closing that mid-court down and not giving easy opportunities for the Koreans to push past Fratama when he's in the front court. Really take some chances, move up the court at every opportunity. Service over. Two, one. Oh, 
Well, you called it luck in the first game, Jill, but it, it, this guy just does it too many times to call yeah. it luck. It was a good serve, and what he's done is just blocked it off, on, back onto the tape, rolled it over. That's, that's really skillful, I have to say. Service over. Three, two. Gary Player. The more I practice, the luckier I seem to get. Yeah. You're yeah. right. You're yeah. right. Service over. Three, oh. Judgment. Service over. Four, three. Yep, good organization as well. Smash to the center, has to come back to his partner. That creates the pressure and lifts out the back. Service well, there's over. no doubt to Four. me Four. that the Koreans, when they are attacking, are, are pressurizing this man, Suwadi, an awful lot of the time. Yeah, that's clearly the case. Sawadi not quite as good in defense as Pratama. But I think it's a little bit the same with the Koreans as well. I think Ji Jung, Kim Ji Jung, is probably not as good in defense. And we saw a few examples where he was caught with the smash across his body in the first game. So there's weaknesses on both sides. Five, four. That's a nice smash. Good angle from Pratama. Yeah, as you say, nice. Smash to the middle. Middle. Six. Open up the sideline there and don't try and hit it too hard. Get the angle going down. Yeah, that's a good serve. Mm, very good serve. Who is that? Goodness me. That's nice variety as a coach. I don't normally like to see that. You, you hit one good short serve, you keep the pressure on your serve short again, but that was a great variety there. Yeah. yeah completely wrong footed him. Yeah, a little bit surprised okay. that the umpire has allowed this break mm -hmm. for the court to be mopped. I didn't see the player go down. Of course, if the player does fall over, then the perspiration from the player's body or shirt is left on the court surface and it can become very slippery. So uh, certainly in those circumstances, it's standard practice. The court is mopped, but that was a surprising decision. Well, it was it was two two shot rallies that preceded yeah. it as well. Yeah. With nobody on the ground, as you say. Nine, four. And all credit to the Indonesians because despite that little break they've kept their momentum going yeah and that's that's a good example of what we were saying Jill there he's taken that really early you know Pratama's in the front court but Sawadi here steps right up look at this we'll see it here he's moving forward onto that you've got two players in the front half of the court there yeah and that's probably what the Indonesian coach was looking to see in this second game Where's the smash gone again? On Suwadi. Yeah. Just towards his forehand side. Committed to the backhand defence. Aimed down the forehand side. Very clever. Yeah, and he was still retreating as well, Jill. If he's going to lift in that situation, lift a little bit higher, give yourself time to get into a good defensive position. Mm. Well, that was a well-constructed rally by the Indonesians. And it takes them to the mid-game interval. 
with a six-point advantage. So 11-5, second game. Well, the Indonesian coach, Danny Cantano. Got one, 20 seconds. Got one, 20 seconds. Seven. 11, 5. Yeah, well spotted umpire. Oh, oh, oh. Indonesians in the wrong formation. Play. It is Suwadi to serve. Twelve, five. And again, net cord return. Racket up ready for the next one. Really good doubles. This is the danger time for the Indonesians. Sarang with the service, getting into that front court, trying to dominate behind the service. Oh, my word! What a defensive shot. That was absolutely delicious. Well, it's a great shot, but I have to say the smash, straight into his defensive zone, straight onto his backhand defence, his favoured side, and he makes the most of it. Yeah, but it's still a lovely block cross court, no! wasn't it? You've got to give him that. It was a great shot, but it was there for him. Yeah, so now the Indonesians instigate a little break. Disappointment from Kim Sarang. Yeah, again, this is his zone, really. You don't expect to be seeing him making mistakes from midcourt. Oh, that's nice. Great pressure. Great intercepting from Suwadi. Yeah, this is good. Not his favoured position, but being really positive, really aggressive, hunting the shuttle. Good doubles. Close. Over, 17, oh, like our first match this evening, looks like we'll have three games in this men's doubles. Oh, it's quick. And what a fabulous smash from Kim Gi Jung. Yeah, they managed to work into their favoured position here, and that's a super finish to the sideline. Eleven, 
Well, they were trying to exploit, I think the Indonesians trying to exploit the mid-court area, but it was simply too too high, gave the, the Koreans too much time. That one there. Yeah. Sawad has been guilty a couple of times of when he has got to lift, really not put, giving himself enough time to get back into a good defensive position. And that was very short. But they look a different pair when they've got the attack at the well, moment. They're finding yeah. ways to get through this Korean defence, which normally is very, very strong. And that's a good combination again. Rear court player getting the front court player into the game, working yeah. for his partner. Found the line, cooled in. 19 to up. Yeah, again, good mid court exchange. See all four players looking to get as high up the court as they can. Nobody retreating. Making his way forward, Suwadi, quite brilliantly. 20 So, it is going to be down to a third and deciding game. Twenty-one twelve confirms the umpire. Crikey, we've only had twenty-seven minutes of this, and we're about to go into a third game. Yeah, it's quick like there were less mistakes in the second game, but still both pairs are very reluctant to lift. But the Indonesians certainly closed the mid-court space down in that second game, and that was the difference. It did create more attacking opportunities for them, and they were very effective as a pair, as a combination, once they did get the attack there. See the Korean coach was that Choi Min Ho? There he is. Yes, indeed, it was. He's looking a little concerned, isn't he? I think he's every right to be. This pair really gave the initiative away in that second game, and the Indonesian pair are right in this match now. Goodness, what a super drop shot. Lovely change of pace. Do you know, I was just thinking at the end of that second game that there wasn't enough mixing up of the pace. No, that was great. I mean, in the first game, the centre smash was very effective. Koreans both on the heels looking for, to defend the centre of the court and a lovely change of tempo. The concern for the Koreans is that again it was the Indonesians that were getting the first attack. Oh. 
Indonesians, incidentally, never been in Two. a Super Series quarter-final. Reached the last 16, which is the same stage as we are here today at the All England Championships. Wow. They're growing in confidence, aren't they? they? Visibly. I was just about to say Three. the same thing, Jill. Left. Visibly. They're able to get on the attack and they're very, very effective when they do get the opportunities. Indonesia that win the opportunity to smash. They're winning the attack, and the Koreans really look all over the place at the moment. They need to get back to basics. Start thinking about the returns of serve, getting the returns going down, and take the attack off the Indonesian pair. That's a lovely backhand. Oh, well taken. Giga Jung absolutely four. launching himself towards the net there. That's great commitment. Yeah, and we see the difference when they do get the attack. They also can get through. It really is a battle for who wins that first attack. Yeah. Savistova, ah. five, one. Mm. That mid-court area, Ian, that you were talking about, it's very, very obvious that especially this man, Suwadi, has really closed down, getting closer up behind his partner. Yeah, you've got two of them right on the service line there. Compressing the court down. Good doubles. Yeah, they're running away with this third game at the moment. Koreans need to somehow break this run and get themselves back into it. Otherwise, quite frankly, it's going to be too little, too late. Now, oh, a nice return of serve. Just feel the Koreans have to have a little run of points right now, Ian. Well, it's the right person serving for them. Kim Sarung does tend to get runs on his serve. He's got a great service. They haven't got the attack again. nice oh my goodness yeah well there was woeful indecision at the back of the court there from Pratama my goodness his partner had already given up on the rally look he's looking round my goodness don't look round I speak from experience, having done precisely that and ended up in hospital for four days with a shuttle in my eye. It's instinctive though, isn't it? You, you know the shuttle has, has not come past you as a doubles player and for so long that you know that it must be left and it's instinctive that you turn around just to check the, whether it's landing out or not. Yeah, you assume your partner's left it after a certain delay. Yeah. As you say, it's a dangerous moment. Oh. That's a good serve again, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Well, you're right about Five, his serve and his ten. run of points. Four straight points, and all of a sudden, just two points in it, and it's believable again. Oh. Ooh, that wasn't such a good serve. Deserved to be punished, but it wasn't. Service over. Eight, five.
again, the difference is it's the Indonesians Nine, looking to move five. up the court. Even though they had to give the attack away, they were still on the front foot trying to get forward. We're going to see it here. Look at him moving in behind the defensive shot. It's good play. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, it's called in. Devin calls in. No, who made the challenge? I thought it was the Indonesians challenging. They don't want to challenge if it's called in their favour. It must have been the Koreans. No, the, Korean, the Koreans challenged immediately. I think they're pretty confident on this one. Oh, it was in. Yeah, that's a, a challenge gone as far as the Koreans are concerned. Challenge Yeah, a big point as well. Yeah, I got confused because the Indonesians put their arms up as well. Which is the signal to the umpire that they want to challenge. Good return of serve and, and then the interception at the front of the court from Anga Pratama. So it's a four point advantage for the Indonesians against the number eight seeds from Korea. saying something about being alert at the net. of the perspiration before play resumes. Do you think that the Indonesians are experienced enough that they'll keep calm in this situation and, you know, not get excited about the prospect of perhaps a first ever Super Series quarterfinal? Well, you read in my mind, Jill, I think the interesting thing here now is they know what they've got to do to win. Their tactics are working really well. But can they finish it? The Korean yeah. pair, they're used to get into quarters, semis, medals in world championships. And as you said, this Indonesian pair, they've never been to a quarterfinal in the Super Series. So for the coaches, for everybody now, the interest is, can they finish it off? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. A little bit of trickery from Pratama. Good rally. And good interception to finish it off from Suwadi. Well, some lovely touches in that rally. You're not going to see them. They were early in the point, but again, you see two of them very high on the court, and that's been the key to the turnaround in this match. bothered me again that Pratama was trying to play that sort of disguised topspin defensive shot that one there 
he did that in the last rally, got away with it. That's the sort of shot that you normally see in sort of exhibition matches, isn't it? You don't usually see it in the competition court. And whether that little bit of, that's just an indication that they're not keeping their discipline and their mindset together to finish this off. Well, that's just proved me wrong, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, he could have let you finish first. <laughs> That was really sharp at the net. Again, we see him moving forward. The key is he's going forward, going forward, looking for that net, looking to dominate that position. And again, it's good doubles. Oh, it's just wide. Nice idea. Savitova, 9.40. But it was an ambitious shot to try. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you, you can look at that two ways as well. I mean, it's it's straight on to, again, it's a dangerous smash from the Korean. He's gone cross-court onto the backhand defence. You know, it's a miss, I think, down the line there. That was a real chance. Down, 14. Over. 15. Yeah, Kim Ji Jung just not as sharp after his service as Kim Ra Sang. Service over. 11 15. Indonesians are very good about switching sides. 15, that was. This is really nice. Sets him up on one side and then goes to the other side from the front court. The normal instinct is to just hit that hard because you're close to the net, but he didn't. He's still turning the direction, yeah. making it very difficult for the defender. Service over. 12, 16. I think he's disappointed here because I think what the coach was saying to him in the break was if you've got to lift, lift cross. And he's just gone straight and he's got two Koreans on the on the half court against himself and that's very difficult. Well, they're involving the player at the front of the court, the Indonesians now, so well. Yeah, some lovely combinations when they get into that attacking yeah. formation. gone too flat and therefore too long. 18, and the yeah. look of disappointment from Kim Sa Rang. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Three points away from a first ever Super Series quarter final. Got to put that out of their minds. Just focus on one point at a time. Yeah, beautiful attacking play from Ricky Suwadi. Another one goes long of the back line, this time from Kim Ji Jung. Match point. Yeah. Eight match point opportunities against the number eight seeds. It's 
going wide. First time of asking. And the Indonesians have beaten the number eight seeds, Kim Ji Jung and Kim Sa Rang. Well, biggest result of their partnership so far. Match won by Anga Pratama, Riti Karanda Suradi, 14-21, 21-12, 21 Yep, the umpire confirming the score. I wonder if that is the best win of their partnership, because, of course, I should remember that in the first round of the All England, they beat Kai Yun and Liu Kai in three games. So that's perhaps debatable, but nothing debatable about their victory today. 14-21, 21-12, 21-12 in the deciding game in 46 minutes of play. six months and they've not really had a consistent oh. runner. So our next match will be women's doubles, which gives us an opportunity to look at the Destination Dubai uh, rankings. And up four places after reaching the final last week in India, the twin sisters from China. Up three places to the second position, Peterson and Ruti Yu. So to our women's doubles, and the last remaining players from the host nation, Vivian Hu and Wu Ki Wei, up against the qualifiers. And here, Shita Awanda and Masha. 
الخديوي الاستغراني اللي كبتوت She looks a little nervous, doesn't she, walking onto court. Wu Ki Wei, the left-hander, leading out the Malaysians. Three years ago, we were quarter finalists here at their home event. Passed out.